hey guys welcome back to the channel if you are new let me first off say hello welcome i am nisha and i hope you enjoyed today's makeup tutorial y'all i know i, I kind of like i forgot <laughs> i didn't forget what was so much going on but i'm back okay we're back with the juvia's rebel palettes um and then today we're doing this honey i am in love with this overall look i don't usually typically go for like orangey makeup and well damn <laughs> i'm loving everything about her okay she is just giving me my my life so i'm showing you guys some more juvia products besides just this eyeshadow palette i'm giving the contour palette another try but just in a different shade so y'all gotta wait and hear my opinion and then i also got a new juvia lip stick as well so stay tuned i hope you guys enjoy it um and if you guys want to see the other ones that i did create using the rebels i will have a playlist listed in the description box but so far it's just grays okay that i did but Hopefully by the next video upload, I'll have another look using one of the other rebels. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Keep going. All right, so we're gonna get started with the Honeys palette. So first off, I see that we have two beautiful orangey brown colors, and then we have this beautiful matte brown, and then we have a metallic copper color. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think out of the grays, I think this is the only palette. Let me see before I make this statement. The armies have two matte. Okay, out of the four palettes, this is the only one that has more mattes than the rest of them. So I like that. <laughs> I like more mattes than metallic. So let's give it a go. I already have my eyelids prepped with Juvia. Of course, no other shade number two on the eyes. Okay, so before I go in for Juvia, I like to start off with a brow bone highlight. So I'm gonna just apply a nude color and just pop it right underneath my brow bone. I just use my lips, they're really chapped and crusty and I just don't know where my lip oil is right now. But anywho, I think I wanna start off Let's see, I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade. Let's give her a try. Use her as a nice like transition crease color. I definitely feel like it's a light color to use in the crease and I do feel like you have to continue to add more of this color just to build it up. Besides that, it is a pretty color but Blending wise, you're going to need a lot to make sure that it's blended in the crease. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the dark brown and I'm going to simply apply that in my crease. This hair got me feeling like I got bugs crawling on me. Oh my gosh, I need a shirt on. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that right in the outer part. I'm going to see how deep it is to see if I want to bring it all the way across. But let's start off by patting this. What the trickery? Wow. I'm saying wow because I'm caught off guard. Because in the pan, in my eyes, it looks brown. But when you apply it, she's an orange. Yeah, that's an orange. That's why I guess I should have did some swatches first. But this is uh, going a different way. So I'm gonna pretty much go all the way across with this. Well, kind of halfway, like from here to right there. Wow, this caught me off guard. I'm thinking I'm going in with the brown, but you know, honey, but now that I think about it, honey is orange. That makes sense, okay. Um, scratch that, <laughs> scratch that. I'm gonna go back in with the other brush that I used, nothing added to it. I'm just going to use it to help blend out the two colors. All right, so being that I'm caught off guard, I think I might add an extra color to it. That's what, okay. So one thing I've noticed so far, just by this being my second time using one of these palettes, I feel like each palette is going to miss at least like one shade that could have went like maybe in a center and it could have been like a five pan palette. I just feel like one, it's just always one. So like with the gray, I felt like a nice brown 
or either a black, especially a black would have went well with the grays. Now with the honey, I feel like an actual really deep chocolate brown would would have went just perfect with this, like a real deeper, deeper than this color and more of a brown chocolate color, like something towards this bottom part of the palette. That would have been perfect. Or maybe something more chocolate like this. That would have been perfect. I'm just saying. But anywho, let's go ahead and cut the crease off camera. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to, of course, the metallic color in this palette. I'm gonna do a finger swatch of it to show you guys what it looks like. Really pretty gold. But I'm gonna take it up a notch and I'm going to apply this color wet. So I'm gonna wet my brush and tip it right into that pretty eyeshadow. It's debating on my should I do okay. I decided to have a change of heart in a sense. I'm only gonna apply this in the center part. Kind of want to do it different compared to the other way I did with the gray palette. A really pretty go. You can definitely go like all the way across with this color. And I'm kind of debating that, but I already had it set in my mind that I want to go this way. So now I'm going to grab the only color that I didn't try yet, which is the um, like the deepest orangey color. Apply it right in the outer part first. And if I like it, then I'm gonna apply it in the center. Finger swatch. Okay, I'm gonna apply it right next to that metallic color. Wow, this is bright. This is like bright orangey vibes. Mm. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put her in the inner. I am gonna leave a little bit out because I do wanna take this color and pop it right in my inner so I'm just gonna leave a little bit of a space so I can do that. The color is like really bright in your face. Okay, so I'm gonna take the brown. I feel like, well I keep calling it brown, but it's not a brown, but I feel like it's gonna appear a little bit deeper than I'm gonna pat it instead of blending it out. So I'm gonna put her towards the outer. And like I said, I'm going to put that gold in the last part. Oh, I like that. I really like this. I'm so tempted to add like another shade in my crease, but I'm trying to stick to the honey by itself. So what I'm going to do off camera, liner and probably lashes. I'll probably come back and tell you guys what lashes I use because sometimes I forget. So it's best that I mention what I use. But um, definitely liner and face off camera and then I'll be right back. My concealer is on cream contour or concealer contour. So I'm not set yet, but y'all know me. Bottom eyes first, okay? Because I always have fallout. I decided I'm going to go in with a dark color just to play it safe. <laughs> just to play it safe. So I'm just going to use some sort of a patting brush, which is like an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to pat this on the lower lash line. It's funny how this is looking more of a brown now that I am patting it on the lower lash line. Yeah, it looks more of a brown. I don't know. That's weird. Taking the gold now, that metallic gold. And I'm going to slightly, with the weirdest brush I just grabbed, but I'm going to pop it right in my inner. And bring it just a tap it down the lower lash line, just a little bit. So I'm going to set my face with Beauty Bakery. I love this setting. This is going to keep that highlighted area highlighted. I'm using such a banana beige color. And then being that I contour my nose so good to that, I'm going to try my best to set it. It's kind of a sloppy set, but you get the point. And then on my chin. Once I let it sit, it's by me putting the top back on 
And then moving on to my next powder, I'm gonna use this to set the rest of my face. And I'm gonna be really liking this method. It's just really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge first. And then let's go and tap her on. Don't sleep on this, okay? Because y'all, that girl put me up on game at Ota before I got that job. All right, so I'm gonna give the contour palette a try. So the last time I had dark, and let me show you guys what it looks like. These colors were okay, but I felt like they was too close to my complexion. So I didn't get that heavy, deep contour. But can I use this and still be like okay with it? Yes, depending on how you like your contour. I like mine's heavy. So I found out that I did not get the deepest shade. So this is the deepest shade. It says deep dark. And then here are the colors. And let me bring them up side by side so you guys can see. There you go. Okay, like that. And this a try the correct way. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the deepest shade, why not? And I'm gonna mix a little bit of that, why not? Since it's here, you know? So I'm gonna take that, get this string of hair out of my face, and I'm going to, ooh. Immediately I see something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And if I wanna make it more, you know, deeper, I'm just going to take the dark one just by itself and then focus that on the areas I really want it to be deep at. Juvia, hey boo, y'all did it again. Y'all did it again. Look at this. Do y'all see that? And this looks good by itself, y'all. The e.l.f. Don't sleep on this. This is the e.l.f. What is this called? The camo concealer in the shade Rich Ebony. You can still see her by itself. I haven't even touched this side yet. And being that we did Juvia, let's go all the way Juvia out. I wanna go in with the Juvia blush palette. This is value number one. So blush wise, I think I'm gonna go in. Ooh, should we do orange? Do we do we do we do orange? Well, let's do it. We're gonna go in with the orange. Why not? We did it myself. Look at that. Look at that. Girls and boys. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my gosh, yes. I overdo it with my blush because I love blush. Y'all already know that. I'm going to highlight just a little bit. I'm going to go in. This is actually my favorite highlighter right here in this palette but i don't know okay let's do a swatch side by side so you guys can see the difference so this one's more gold and then this one's more of a bronzy like it has a little bit of like i want to say brown undertone like the other one's more gold this one's more brown undertone so i always go in with her and i'm gonna go with her today sorry um uh, maybe i'll try the next the other one next time but she's just calling my name the nose look look at that y'all oh this did not come to play look at that she I have not tried this palette i highly recommend to do so I apologize i thought i was recording let me zoom back in so i apologize i thought i was recording but i'm just going in with ColourPop, and i'm going in with the lip liner called bff number four i feel like this is the brown y'all need in your collection ASAP if you're a woman of color, man of color, y'all need this, okay? Melanie complexions, y'all need this. Y'all need this brown in your collection. So I got her on. Now I'm going in with a Juvia lipstick. This one's in the shade In Vogue. This is my first time using this color. I really like the color, so I don't want to take any of that away. So I'm going to add a little bit of ColourPop Gloss just to help keep my lips hydrated. All right, I'm going to set my face, pop on some mascara and stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, this shirt is choking me, but 
all right so this completes the look i'm on my way to work so this was kind of like a quick tutorial but just really briefly i liked everything um yes the color is beautiful i love how i played the colors out the contour is giving me my life the blush is giving me my life and of course this lip it's just beautiful so hope you guys enjoyed today's video using miss honeys okay i'm definitely gonna come back and i feel like i'm going to step out of my comfort zone because i'm a little scared of her i'm um, just using her by herself but we're gonna use mint next i promise um i'll have it up as soon as possible but we're going in with miss mints and then army and then we're gonna just use these palettes together and combine them together and do like different looks so hope you guys are here for that but thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching all the way through girl <laughs> love it love it love it love it but thank you guys so much for watching everything that i use that i forgot to mention will be listed in the description box so make sure you guys check that out you guys all have a beautiful and blessed day